Hi, welcome to Tag Arcade. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use AdMob in Unity 3D for iOS. So to begin, we're going to download all the packages that we need for the Unity plugin. To do that, we'll go ahead and ask our trusty friend Google. Uh, within it, we're going to do AdMob Unity 3D. And we're going to go with the second one, the GitHub version. Within the GitHub, go ahead and scroll down to the downloads and the, hit the release button. For this, we're going to use Google Mobile Ads Unity Plugin version 3.0.0. .0. Go ahead and download the Google Mobile Ads.Unity package and also the source code. Once you're done, we have to go back and ask Google again on something else. We need the add mob, add mob framework for iOS. Once you do that, go ahead and click on, I guess, the second one, Google Mobile Ads SDK uh, add mob for iOS. When you do it, we want to click, we want to get the zip file, the Google Mobile Ads SDK iOS. That's it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and sign into AdMob. Okay. Okay, so once we're in here, let's go to monetize. And I already did an Android test, but I'll just go ahead and click on monetize new app. I'm going to add my app uh, manually and say iOS test. And my platform is going to be iOS. Let's hit add app. And I guess we'll do a banner first. So iOS banner. Hit save. And let's go ahead and add another test unit. We'll do interstitial. And say iOS interstitial. Hit save and done. Okay, so now we have our two unit IDs. Now let's go ahead and uh, go into Unity 3D and import our packages. So we'll go import package, custom package. And let's point it to our Google uh, Unity package. Hit open. OK. We'll get our package. So we'll click on the Import button. And we'll wait for our import to finish up. Now we're going to go and get our demo script. So we're going to go to our Downloads and go to Google Ads Mobile Unity 3.0. Let's go to Samples, Hello World, Assets, and get our script. Copy. And we'll go back to our AdMob Unity project into the Asset folder and paste it in. Once it loads, go ahead and select it and drag it over to the main camera. And let's see, make sure we got the Google Ad Mobs on the main camera and double click it to open it. Now, uh, if you scroll to where it says request banner, we're going to go back to our uh, unit ID and get our banner unit ID. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go back to our code. And for the iOS or the iPhone section, we'll go ahead and paste that in. Let's go back to the website and get the same thing. Uh, do the same thing for the interstitials. Copy. And go to where it says request interstitial. And let's go ahead and paste that in. Paste. And scroll down a little bit more to where it says request reward based video. And paste it in as well. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and save the project 
or save the file and go back into Unity. Uh, you are going to get this error message here, and that's because uh, this file is required for the Android build of AdMob. Since we're on iOS, you could simply ignore that. Uh, but let's go ahead and build our project. Build settings. So we're going to build for iOS. We're going to run it as debug since we're just testing. And I'll just check off and make sure we're in development build. And let's go ahead and build our project. Uh, I'm going to call mine Xcode Adma and hit save. OK. Now that it's finished building, let's go ahead and go down to Xcode and open that project. We'll go File, Open. And we'll select our Xcode project. So it's in my documents, Unity Xcode, and Add Mob. Hit Open. So I'm going to close my build window, and let's go ahead and build it. OK, so the first time you build it, you'll get this fail error message. And let's go ahead and see what the failure error message is. OK, so we're missing the module. Uh, mobile, Google Mobile Ads. So to do that, let's go ahead and go back to our frameworks. So we click on this little folder icon on the left, go to our frameworks, and we notice we don't have our Google Ad Mobs. So let's go back to our downloads uh, and go to the Google Mobile Ads uh, SDK iOS 7.6. Okay, and we got the Google Mobs framework, and we're going to click and drag it over to our frameworks. Uh, let's go ahead and close our windows, and we're going to copy our items if you need it, and leave all the rest at the defaults, and hit finish. Now that the Google Mobile Ads framework is in there, let's go ahead and build it again. OK, so it looks like the build failed a second time. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and see why it failed. OK, so we got this little linker code failed. And if we look at the bottom, it says it does not contain bitcode. You must rebuild it with bitcode enabled. OK. So in order to get rid of the bitcode error message, we're going to go back to our little folder on the left and click on Unity iPhone. Once we do that, we're going to go into our build settings on the middle of the page, and we're going to search for something called bitcode. So all I did is in this search box, I just type in bit. And we have this Enable Bitcode button. We're going to click that to No, so that we could go ahead and compile it without the Bitcode verification. OK, now we're going to wait for the AdMob to load on my iPod Touch. OK. And I'm going to click on Request Banner. And there it is. We'll go ahead and destroy it. Show, request Interstitial. Let's go ahead and show it. Good. Request Rewarded. And we're going to show it. And that's it. Close. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Took a few tries, but it'll close. 
And that's it. That's how you add Adma to iOS. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or shoot me an email. And until next time, have fun and keep on making games.